Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Loogie. Does anyone have a car I can borrow for the week? My brakes were cut in here yesterday, and my parents won't let me drive theirs because if something happens to theirs, then they don't have the money to purchase another. I do need to be able to smoke cigarettes in the vehicle I would be borrowing. My mechanic is supposed to have my truck done Wednesday, but I said for the week just in case it takes him longer to fix. I'm not sure why somebody's brakes would get cut unless they were making enemies or something like that, but I mean, seriously, there is other options. You can Uber, you can Lyft. If that's the way you get around, that's the way you're gonna have to get around. Our next one is by Plague Reaper. I need a new babysitter. I leave for work around 2.30 p.m. and get home at 11.40 p.m. Monday through Friday. I'd prefer it be at my place if possible. I can't afford much on my own and I make too much to get assistance. What age group and what is the pay? He's only 4 months and I can't really pay too much. Maybe only $5 an hour. I wish you luck. I honestly don't even know kiddos that babysit with that being per hour. I would make sure to do backgrounds, honestly. Two babies in daycare was my entire check aside from $100 per check and that was 12 years ago. This is harsh, but I'm older and I get straight to the point. I wouldn't hire either one of you if the first thing out of your mouth is, what's the pay per hour? I'm... Why? Your first question, or my first question, would be boy or girl? How old? What are you looking for in childcare cooking? Some one-to-one -one playing? Teaching easy lessons? Interacting? The wage was casually mentioned, so you shouldn't have to ask. I would always ask the pay right away, because I wouldn't want to waste any more of the interviewer's time if the pay wasn't enough for my family to live off of. It's a sign of mutual respect when both parties are upfront about needs. No, it's not. My question is why do people put laughing emojis on these posts? There's nothing funny about a mom taking responsibility for the welfare of her child, no matter how difficult it is to accomplish. It's because half of these posts have completely unrealistic expectations for the kind of work they're wanting somebody to do in terms of the pay. The work required doesn't match up with the pay given. But coming in here attacking people who just want to know what the actual pay is without beating around the bush is kind of wrong. This next one is from Fortune DW. Just like Stella did, we love our littlest guests. We also know sometimes it's hard to sit stillish and wait for their meals. So we're introducing Stella's Snack Bowl. We hope our younger guests will enjoy a healthy snack to take the edge off while waiting for their meals. One snack per child, please. Ages 6 and under. I think this is a great idea to give something for the littlest of kids while they wait. Only problem is, I don't see any snacks for them. Just a random bowl of fruit. Where are the snacks? Kids don't stop being kids at 6. If it's for kids, it should go to 18. The age they stop being kids. 6 and under? <laughs> Once you're 7, you can wait? Should be 10. At least these are little humans. This is great, but also consider getting some bananas, especially with smaller children. They are much cleaner and easier to eat than apples or tangerines, and don't fill the little stomach as much as raisins do before actual food. <laughs> All of these comments are just laughable. This place is trying to do something nice, but of course, you're gonna have the people come out and basically complaining because it's not doing enough. This next one is by For the Burbs. I'm starving and don't want to eat anything in the house. Can someone bring me food? I won't be able to pay you. Thanks in advance. What do you want? I'll take a blank special streak and cheese and onion rings, please. Or a foot long spicy Italian from Subway. Or as a last resort, Chick-fil-A number one meal with extra pickles, a cherry Coke and a chocolate milkshake. Or all three. I'm a big girl. A couple of blank pizzas, too, with pepperoni and sausage. Thanks! Steak, please don't streak. 
I'm assuming that when that person asked what this beggar wanted, that they were thinking that the beggar would come back with something cheap. Instead, they have to list off a whole thing of things that you know if they got all of it in one go, they'd probably eat it all, and then complain that they have no more food. This next one is from Existing Barely. Looking for... I'm looking for a female roommate. Female only. I have a house and a car and looking for someone who wants to be a living girlfriend wifey. You must be attractive and send me a few pics. I'll reply with some pics too. Tell me about yourself. It doesn't matter if you work or not. I could take care of you too. I'm a cute, charming, and funny. You won't be disappointed at all, I promise. Message me so we can talk and set up a showing and go from there. It's first come, first serve, so don't message me only once a day or every few days or weeks. Communication is key to who I choose, so hurry up and let's meet and live happily ever after. <laughs> I'm your fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I got through that without fucking dying halfway through, but seriously, if this person thinks that that's the, like, surefire way to get a girlfriend or a wifey by just having somebody living with you, just, they've got a lot to learn. This next one is by Left Music 7455 Looking for a sitter starting January 2nd. Hours will be 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Looking for a sitter near Begton, off of the Begsville. Pay would be $125 weekly. Being a single father, I know just how expensive childcare is, but whenever I see these kind of posts, I can't help but cringe. Granted, this one is paying more than what a lot of others are, but in this day and age, in this economy, that amount of money is just not going to cut it. And our final one is from Benji JF. I'm a soon-to-be 29-year-old male who would like to offer any personal trainer a challenge. So, I'm a generally fit guy, although I do have bad habits. My challenge to you is to shape me from now to bodybuilding competitive. I'm willing to dedicate myself to diet plans, workouts, even wake up and sleep routines. If you're in need of a dummy for before and after transformation, or even video workouts, diets, and general routines, even if you're training to be a physical trainer, or you're already a physical trainer, I feel that documenting a client's transformation could be beneficial to you and your business and image. I know this isn't your normal question, and I imagine most of the comments saying, you're just trying to get a free personal trainer, but not what I'm looking to do. I can afford personal training. I just wanted to offer this before I decided to pay for a personal trainer. Honestly, I'm not expecting many positive comments, but thought I'd ask. If you have the money to pay for a personal trainer, and you're actually trying to get a personal trainer, why don't you just pay somebody to do what you're seeking? You know, you're asking them for a service. What service are you really providing them, outside of following what they're telling you to do through the service they're providing you? You're not doing anything for them. They're doing it all for you. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.